This video will show you simple ways in which you can check your blood pressure at home by using an automated blood pressure monitor. Blood pressure should be checked every day at the same time in whichever time is convenient for you. It should be checked before you take your blood pressure medications. Before checking blood pressure, make sure you are relaxed. It is best not to perform any exercise, have caffeine or nicotine or a large meal before you check your blood pressure. Go to the washroom first if you feel the urge to pass urine. Find a quiet place to sit upright in a comfortable position with the legs uncrossed and your back supported. Place your feet flat on the floor and avoid sitting on the bed or stool without back support. This is an automated blood pressure monitor. This is the main machine and this is the cuff attached to it and this is the connector hose between the machine and the cuff. Make sure that you are using an appropriate cup size based on your medium circumference. To check your blood pressure, place the cuff 2 to 3 cm above your elbow level. Keep your hand relaxed while checking your blood pressure. You can use your two fingers to measure it above the elbow joint. And the sensor of the cuff should be over the line of the artery. And the cuff you place should not be too tight or too loose. Place your arm at the level of your heart. You might need a table for support. It will help you in giving the correct reading. Take your blood pressure by pressing your start button on the monitor. Verify that the connector hose between the cuff and the monitor is not kinked because kinking prevents proper inflation and deflation of the cuff. You will feel that the cuff is getting inflated. Do not speak or do not move when the reading is going on. After a few minutes, you might take a second reading because the first is often high. Then your blood pressure monitor will screen will show you the upper blood pressure value that is systolic and the lower blood pressure value that is diastolic. As a general measure, the blood pressure values should be less than 140 by 90 and more than 90 by 60. If any error shows in the screen, try disconnecting and reconnecting. To be more precise, take repeat measurement of your blood pressure and record the average of the two readings. There are some mistakes you should not make to avoid falsely high blood pressure. Those are crossing your legs during measurement, positioning your arm or BP machine below the level of the heart, using a cuff that is too narrow for the extremity, wrapping the cuff too loosely or unevenly, failing to wait 1 to 2 minutes before obtaining a repeat measurement. There are also some mistakes which you should not make to avoid falsely low blood pressure. Those are positioning your arm above the level of the heart and using a cuff that is too wide. It is best to remove the battery of your monitor while not in use for a long time. Record the numbers in your heart failure mobile app daily exactly as they appear in the screen. Your nurses or doctors will be able to check your blood pressure from the app. They will also receive an alarm if the blood pressure you entered is too high or too low.